Oh yeah, it's your friend Will here. And Matt. That's right, well Will and Matt, we're just about to head out and do a show at Sheridan Hotel. But we figured, since we love you guys so much, we have to do a reaction video for the Singer 2018 competition before we leave. Um, we're watching... We're watching... Watching, watching you. you. That's right. Oh boy, I have such a high expectation going into this final round of competition. I mean, like, they're all great. They're like the greatest of the greats. That's why they're in the finals. That's right. Uh, and uh, watching you is printing out his A game. I heard a little bit background about the song that he's singing. It's actually uh, sang by Angela Jump, like the, the other female yeah. singer. The one, that, that the, the very nostalgic one. Yeah, that's right. Uh, she published the song like during the last century, I think, or the, in the beginning of the 21st century, like 2001 or 2002. I was going to say last century is like so, 100 years yeah. ago. <laughs> Sounds old, yeah. No, but if you think about it, it's like 18 years ago. But yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, so he's obviously going to tweak it and make it unique. I wonder if there's going to be elements of rap because, you know, he likes to just throw it out there and like the, at the places where you expect the least and just it shocks you and it's always great, right? So, or maybe not. Maybe it's going to be like a, a just a rock song or it's going to be very emotional. You might change he's, it up for the yeah. finals. Like I said, he's the master of all trades, man. Like, he, he can never see what's coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you never... He, he, he keeps you on your toes. Yeah. You can never, never see what's going to come next. It, it's just like, it's so, putting on a show. It's a double negative. You can never, never see. No, I said you can never see what's coming. Anyways. Let's go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah, that's the original singer. Must be cool for her. And that's Jan. She's a gem. Yeah. I stand lonely on the like, desert and the horizon can all be seen. I'm getting a YouTube vibe from him. All the memories spin, spin around me. Walk against the snow, I walk along. Asian sound, I walk the same. The dream like, dream like freedom. Whether it's sad or song, I will always sing in chords. This, this is really euphoric. It just takes you into the zen. Stand alone in the desert. I look at the end of the horizon and I can't see it. I have waited alone forever. Feel that the memories is spinning around me. The night is long. I'm not afraid of flying high. Oh, 
free like a like a month. He's telling everyone to hold up their hands. He's asking everyone to shout with him. Yeah. Stop abusing the microphone. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I'm actually curious because I know Angela Zhang's the one who wrote it, right? Uh, Angela Zhang? Yeah. Uh, did, I'm curious. Did, did, was she inspired by Western culture music as well in the 90s? Um, I'm not sure, but I think she... she yeah, I'm not, surpri not going to be surprised if, uh, if she, she did. Because there were a lot of parts where I'm not sure if it was lyrics or if it, or if it was because of watching you. Right. But I felt a lot of like U2 influence and other classic rock influences in there as well. U2? Yeah, U2 the band. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it felt like very like relaxed mm -hmm. at the same time very intense. Right, because U2 is very great at making like relaxed stadium rock. Right. In a way, and that's kind of what that felt. And there were many parts where... I know U2's version of this. I don't think they're the originals of this, but like there are parts where I thought I was going to start hearing, and I cried to my daddy on the telephone. How long now? Yeah, Turn yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm probably... Because cause Angela is actually from Canada. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so she lived she lived in Canada for a long time. That might explain some of those influences then at the time too when yeah. it was written. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, uh, and uh, the song itself is just very amazing and breathtaking you know what i find like hua chen yu is great at performing obviously is is great at understanding genres and transcend them make it their own yeah and he's also great at uh at just like pure singing ability right yeah and he's also good at changing things up but but the thing the thing that's that stood out the most in this performance is his ability to perform live. I think like live performances, he's just like on a level of his own. Like yeah, the audience, yeah. I think that stood out in more than just this one. It stood out in pretty much all of his performances. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I just, I just, I just want to point that out. Yeah. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was very. 
amazing and also entertaining to see him engaging with the crowd and also that whistle sound i'm not sure how how, how what's the right terminology for it uh the whistle noise that he makes it's just so euphoric mm-hmm. right? just so like takes you out of the world it, it takes this, you into a new world yeah exactly hence the sound uh oh it's a new world um yeah it just takes you frees you uh, and takes you to like a new world and that's what I feel like this 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 vibe that he's giving uh, like with the, with the lyrics and with the way he's saying this song, he just mm-hmm. wants to take you on a journey into his world, right? Mm-hmm. This guy creates a reality marble, creates a world of his own, and just takes you in there. It's amazing. It is really cool. That was a fate stay night reference when I said reality marble, but you don't you don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, if, it, if you if you like Fate anime series, you probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, has a different meaning. Uh, but yeah, I loved it. Um, I think he's on the same level as Jesse J. Uh, what do you think? You think? I think so. I think I think he has so many things that make him unique compared to so many other performers as well. So I think he definitely deserves a fair shot. At yeah. Least. He's he's very multi talented. I just wish they had like two championship titles. It's hard, man. It's hard to, to pick off who's better. Um. All right. Let us know whether or not you agree with what we said. Yeah. And if you see anything else you want to see us react to, feel free to let us know in the comments below. That's right. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, peace out. <laughs>